Hey guys, Mr. Bogier, back with another video, and today looks like Zenless Zone Zero devs have once again listened, right? So, yep, without further ado, let's get into today's content. Subscribe! Alright, so we are gonna be reacting to Forb, reacting to the community here. Community? I mean, blah, blah, blah. the community notes because. I'm too goddamn sleep deprived. I have not slept for the past 36 hours. I want Chu Yuan and I'm just gonna watch and then we can all enjoy this together as a happy, happy family right here in Pokey's Village, right? So let's continue. Boom. Let's read this tweet. So Maybe. Zizi posted a l essay. An absolute essay. Holy so essay. This. So this is Redo Renovation Talk Volume 1. Hi, Proxy. Insane. Since the official release of Zenless Zone Zero, many... First of all, formatting completely dog shit. Respectfully, yo, devs, if you are listening, this formatting needs to improve a little bit. Get more paragraphs, get more get more spacing, right? Uh so yeah. A little bit better formatting would be good. Proxies have been attracted to new Eridu as a creative team eager to showcase our youth. Oh my god, blood reads like an old man. Alright, chat. I'm our our speed is up, right? Uh, since the official release of Zenon Zone Zero, many enthusiastic projects have been attracted to new Erdo to visit and explore. We would like to thank each and every single one of of their interest and support. As a creative team eager to showcase our unique style and talent to every player, we are constantly thinking about how to shape the shade of new Erdo and bring its daily life closer to everyone. Every time we see how the characters and stories resonate with you and how you eagerly are waiting for more content, we truly feel that the city is becoming more real and alive. Throughout this journey, we have also realized that many areas in the game need to further refinement and compensation. We have received invaluable feedback from you, such as improving the connection between HDTV mode and combat experience, offering more diverse and challenging combat options, and optimizing some repetitive exploration experiences. In the first issue of the Redo Renovation Code, we'd love to discuss some of the main issues raising our feedback and share our current plans for optimizing the game and future updates. Episodes. Unique style and content to every player. We're constantly thinking about... Sorry, and that was a fast version. So if you guys can't keep up the fast version, uh, you guys can listen to the, to the, to the normie version, right? So I'm going to play for you guys because I'm very accommodating to both uh, my Twitch chat and YouTube chat, right? Very nice. How to shape the city of New Era and bring its daily life closer to everyone. Every time we see how characters and stories resonate with you... Uh, this one is for the 134 speed players, right? Just now, there was the 200 speed Barco with triple dungeons and the other right, so yeah. And how eagerly you are waiting for more new content, we truly feel that the city is becoming more real and live. Throughout this journey, we have also realized that many areas in the game need further refinement and optimization. We have received invaluable feedback from you, such as improving the connection between HDD TV mode and combat experience, offering more diverse and challenging combat options, and optimizing some competitive exploration experiences. In the first issue of Redo Renovation Talk, We'd love to discuss some of the main issues raised in your feedback and share our current plans for optimizing the game and future updates. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Seeing, Optimization looking. is expected to be implemented in 1.1. All right. In terms of narrative experience in the latest okay. story missions of version 1.1, for the first time, you will be able to interact with new Eridu's neighborhoods and fight through levels to advance the story's progress from the perspective of the mission's protagonist. Rally? Oh! So we are finally able to not walk around as Bell. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. But this only works if I can walk around as Chu Yuan's giant ass faces me. Otherwise, doesn't really change anything. So that's really good. It's a good start. It's a good start. Really? All right, cool. Is, is that is that talking about like rally mode? Because it's saying you'll be able to progress the story through fighting. I'm pretty sure it's basically like our classic main story. We just we're kind of, right now in the classic main story. We are always walking around in either Bell or Weiss, right? So I'm pretty sure this just means that we're gonna be doing story. It is just that we still fight the levels and all kind of stuff, but I can walk around in a new unit. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So it sounds more like a rally, rally quest style, which is exactly what people wanted. They wanted less TV quest, right? Or TV story. So we'll see how we'll, we'll okay. whether well, they change that a lot. That sounds really yeah. good. Uh, a button for manual chain attack mode will be added to the squad lineup in, in, in interface before entering combat. In this mode, after stunning an enemy, your actions will not trigger other agents' chain attacks. Additionally, a cancel chain attack combo function will be added, allowing you to choose whether to use the manual chain attack mode according to your preferences. This 
changes very little for the casual player base. For the casual player base, they probably won't give a f But for the vocal minority, which most of the players that are watching my stream or like pop stream or maybe basically people watching Twitch streams, uh, they are the they want to like min max a little bit, have a little bit more degree of freedom. Um, uh, I believe this is a very very good quality of life. It is a very very because I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. I think I've mentioned this before in a couple of my previous guides. Is that um, uh, in some scenarios, you don't want to finish up your chain attacks. Maybe my editor can find a B roll here. Like for example, when I'm doing like SD or whatever, right? Even though I could perform a full chain, sometimes I just choose to not continue. Because I want to have a longer time on the day's duration. For some specific units, their day's duration remaining is shorter because that chain attack's animation is very, very long. Key example being Sokaku. If you were to end off your chain attack with Sokaku, the, by the time your animation is done and you swap into another unit, it will be like half the... It's only like half the bar. Whereas if you were to just let the day's timer go off naturally, you will maintain the full day's bar, which is the difference of your Ellen using a skill basic chain one more time or not, which often translates to a much higher damage output. Right? So there's just one example I can think of. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, but I would say that for majority of the casuals, this doesn't reach a lot. But for the you know people that want to change, this is just pretty good. Okay. Wait. This is actually... That was that was quick. That is the fastest Hoyoverse change that has been requested by the player base I have ever seen implemented. <laughs> what the hell? Really? Is this the fastest? Is there any faster any faster change in this? Thank you. Nervulet reversion. Oh true. <laughs> yo, yo, editor, can you add the nervulet image? Add the nervulet image. Where like it was like Donald Trump and then nobody like, got shot and then like ten boost. Oh yeah, that, that, that was way quicker. That took less than twenty four hours. Yeah, true, true, true. That was that's crazy. Okay. Huh. So I I do wonder how the fuck how these will work. Mm. Cancel chain attack combo. Does that mean like oh, there's dude. a button where like if you're mid chain attack and you don't want to do the last chain attack, you can just press the cancel button. I'm thinking so it doesn't case. go into that last one. I'm thinking right? that's the case. Hoping yep. that's what that means. That's I feel it's probably just gonna be like dodge. Like the okay, if you're playing on the controller, uh probably this button right here. Right? If you're playing on the controller, probably this button right here. Um I don't think it's gonna be a left or right button. Or like really a nice. button. I do be like that because sometimes I just don't wanna do that last chain attack and then I have to swap back to Ellen, right? So swap back, swap back instead. That that's nice. Um manual chain attack. In this mode, after studying an enemy, your actions will not trigger other agents' chain attacks. So, that's weird though. When would you ever want to not trigger? I feel like you always want to. Yeah, I feel like the first part you will always want to. It's just like whether you finish, that is depending on the player. But every time you daze someone, I feel like you always want to start this chain attack. Is there a situation where I never want to? Let me think. Nah, I can't think of a situation. I feel like you always want to start, like at least start, but you might not need to finish. So, yeah. I feel like you that's, should. That's my experience, anyways. You should have that on and then just use the cancel function, no? Yep, yep. That's, that's what I feel. I don't know. When you have your buffs up already. I know, I get that, right? But, like, if the cancel chain attack combo function is already in, do you need this function? I mean, I guess it's nice. Uh, in terms There's more of combat, flexibility. we have added a series of challenging combat missions in game modes that will be continuously updated. As the rank 1 Zenla Zone 0 free to play player, I have basically beaten... Sorry. I have basically destroyed the hardest content that Zenla Zone 0 has offered. Which is gonna be the Holo Zero Nest 11. 11 out of 11 difficulty. I fucking destroyed that shit on my first try. So, yes. This is gonna be very, very good. This is a very, very good update. Uh, it kind of depends, 
right? And I, I, I know that devs listen, but I feel like this also, I'm a little bit um, conservative with regards to exactly what do they mean by a series of challenging combat missions? Because if this just straight up means like a health sponge or like a DPS check, it's not too good. But if they, can you imagine if Zender Zone Zero implements something like hologram fight? Oh my god, that would be absolutely diabolical. That would be absolutely cinematic. That would be absolutely listening, right? So if they add something like that, oh, that, that would be oh god. So so I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just remain neutral, stay conservative, and just see what do they exactly mean by a series of challenging combat. Because this could just mean hell, hell sponge that I don't really give a shit, right? So yeah, we, we can see we can see where it goes. Some TC said uh, something, chain attacks, just DPS losses. No, 100%, right? That's why I don't want to do certain ones, right? Because mm. it is a DPS loss. Changing, mm. fucking doing my last Sokaku at the end is such a fucking waste of time when I already have fucking raised the flag buff, you know? Sokaku just... Sokaku is like a... What was the, what's the fucking unit called again? What's the unit called? The fucking slow, slow, slow unit. Oh my god, I can't think. Oh my god, I have, I have so much brain rot. Okay, chat, just remind me when I get it back. Uh, she's just, she just, she just really, really slow overall. Uh, let me just, uh, there's a lot, a lot of hit track. So yeah. Oh, uh, and I hate doing it. Who the fuck said Malphite? You're crazy. <laughs> Rock solid. So like, I want to cancel out of it, but I can't. Uh, I just literally, like, what I've resorted to is I just sit there and let it time out and then i you know so like this, that's why i think the chain cancel attack function is so good mm. or a can cancel chain attack function okay this sounds interesting new mm. end game mode possibly new a series of end game mode. combat missions end game mm. modes not just missions game modes that Mode. will be continuously updated i want to fight millennia blade of mikola Bro, imagine Zenda Zone Zero with an Elden Ring collab, and we have to fight the Scarlet Rot. Ooh, it's a okay. Like this might be these two might be my favorite so far. Okay, huge. In Shiu Defense, we have improved the display of enemies' attribute resistance, making it easier for you to select suitable agents for each challenge. Uh -huh. Okay, I mean that's fine. Uh, after unlock, I think right now, I I I really wonder if they can add like exactly how much they rest, because in Zenda Zone Zero. Some enemies, if they are resistant to an element, it might be like 10 or 20%. So there is like a difference of resistance, even though they are both weak to the same element. So if they show like the actual percentage, they'll be pretty nice. Because I don't even think Hongi Starbucks has this, unless you have to go to the Hongi Starbucks website. So this is a pretty decent quality of life if they were to inc inc include it. But yeah. A new agent, the internet avatar of that agent will be automatically unlocked. Now you can select your favorite agent as your internet avatar. Oh, wow. Great, not great for the waifu collectors. Very nice. Nice, finally. So we don't have some NPC ass fucking avatars. <laughs> uh, the battle menu interface. Or, or maybe you can just, you know, go out on dates, like a proper protagonist. Treat them to coffee, you know, bring them out to the cinema, bring them back home, you know, watch a couple of shows together, raise them up proper, and earn the character badges. Instead of giving it handed to you, you know, uh, I feel like we can do it the you know the traditional way of things. Right? Yeah, Zero Zone Zero is basically a dating simulator, absolutely. So I, I like it. Now, with or without this, I would have done it anyways, right? So it's fine. on a mobile devices will allow you to custom. Nobody plays on phone. Uh Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm staying neutral. I have no comments. Uh, uh, okay, let's read this. We'll allow you to customize certain UI buttons with MP. Oh. Okay, that's actually really nice for mobile. No, that's actually. For the 10 people playing on the. Actually, um, really anyways. nice chat. Mm. Custom UI for mobile play? That's actually really big. I've tried ZZZ on mobile. It felt like ass. I, I didn't really. I, I just didn't really like the uh, button layout, but th this sounds pretty good. All right. I can never imagine playing games like Zenless, Warring Waves, or even Genshin Impact on the phone. It's like, how do you even... 
like why would you put like in Hong Kong Starbucks is okay because it has a f- it has the fun button in Hong Kong Starbucks, but like all these other games is like holy shit, why? Fine, man. Uh, optimization expected to be implemented. Oh, iPad is fine though. If you're playing on iPad, it's fine. Yeah, iPad. Implemented iPad in uh, one point two. Oh wow, wait. Is this a fucking roadmap from MiHoYo? If this is, I would say they could have they should have done this on, on like the proper website. I would have, you know, I would have preferred if there was like more pictures of like Gyats here, Gyats there, a little bit of a Pang here and there, you know, a little bit of a Aboba here. There's just a little bit more infographics. Like, you know how Hongi Starbucks does it? Or like even like Water Waves, instead of like combining everything into a Twitter post, a little bit hard for the ADHD and the, you know, slightly less um, mature audiences to maintain their attention span, right? But for me, I can maintain just that for some of the other channels, Probably need a little bit more like you know like kids, you know like picture books in there. Yep, you you want a little bit of picture books there. This is basically a fucking roadmap. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. Mihoyo is actually growing, <laughs> learning from their mistakes. Wait, wait, I mean okay, to be completely neutral, Hongi Starbucks has this, right? Like technically Hongi Starbucks, it's just a game that's have um Holy Jesus. Okay. Let's see. Eight whole last month, I hope all this money means you won't go Thank homeless. Thank you, I love Copium. albatrosses for the eight. Yeah, surely. It's all right, 1.2. 1.2. Let's see this. One, the way he said 1.2, it's not that 1.2. One, one. Shout out to Shy Lily, my favorite VTuber flavor in gamer subs. At Exclamation GS, using Code Bogey for 10% off gamer subs. It's Code Bogey for 10% off gamer subs. F20. For completed story commissions and exploration commissions with uncollected rewards, we'll be adding a fairy assistance feature. Once you meet certain requirements, you can hand over these missions to fairy and receive all the uncollected commission rewards after a set period of time. Wait, what? For completed story and explorations with uncollected rewards. Once you meet certain requirements, you can hand over these missions to receive all uncollected commission rewards. Holy shit. Well, that's actually really, really, really good for casuals. That's a really, really good upgrade for casuals. Or even for like executive account managers, if they even exist. Uh, but uh, yeah. I, I like it, I like it. Oh, let's good. go! Makes our life easier. I have a fucking story mission I don't want to fucking do, and it's a fucking detective mystery one. And I, mm. I got all the, I got all the three star things. I just don't know what the fuck the last thing I need to do is for the mission. Yep. Hopefully that I can good. do that. It's pretty good. Um, good quality of life. While exploring the monitor array, the automatic accelerated playback when enabled will not be interrupted by other events. <clears throat> Additionally, the animation playback speed for some events will be increased, providing a smoother gaming experience. All right, changes nothing. Chad, is this talking about the speed up not being disabled? Right, it is. Holy God, actual Wait, what? devs listened. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, does this change everything? Am I wrong? Wait, what is this? The skip on TVs? Oh. Oh. Oh, they make TV even m Oh, shit. Oh yeah, because right now, whenever we go into like a like a square we fight, right? And then when we leave, it goes back to one time. It's so fucking annoying. When we had like the dialogue options, it will just get automatically like the, the voiceovers, it will just get cancelled. Oh. Yo, that's actually really, really good. It doesn't change everything, but it makes it feel a lot nicer to play TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I bitched about this every fucking day we were playing ZZZ. Because, like, every time you'd have 2x and then you'd go through an event and then your yep. fucking 2x would be disabled and you don't yep, realize yep, yep. it. And you're like, why the fuck is this slow? It's like, oh. I like how Fob's entire fucking chat is just using my emote. You guys are watching this video right now from YouTube. I am the original devs listen guy, right? I am the original devs. Oh, hold up. Let me, let me just pull it up. To give you guys a proof, all right? The entire Gacha community, all of the fucking Gacha CCs, copying my thumbnail, copying my slogans, copying all my fucking shit. Just know that if you're watching my channel, I alone am the original. I am the OG. I am. The listened, the list. I alone am the listened one, 
All right. So if you guys are watching the stream, okay, for you guys, right? you guys, you guys are watching the original. You guys are watching the original. Absolutely. Insane. Right. Anyways, let's go do. Oh shit! My, my 2x got disabled. If I can re-enable it again, that shit is annoying. Huge. Huge. All right. Three. A preset lineup feature will be added. Oh, cause not loadouts. Okay. Uh, you will be all also be able to choose whether to include Bangu in your lineup for battle commissions. The lineup controls before Shiu defense will also be optimized. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Because mm, right now, I don't think we can select a team, right? Right now, we can only press C and we see the agents that we have. Then we have to kind of make our team again if we go into like a combat or like a new stage or like a new story. So this is pretty good if we can have a team lineup. Yep. This is nice. Actually, why the fuck did they not think of it? Why would you not have like a team section where like literally every single whole game has it? Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty good. I, I, do, I do agree. This is nice. It's a team loadout. It's a team loadout. I like that. That's good. I, I haven't really felt like I needed this because, yeah, I, yeah, I've just been playing Ellen team for everything. But yeah, this is very nice. Especially, you know, when you do get an E6 Ellen, you know, uh, it takes the joy away from negative edging. It takes the joy away from the Kuru cancel. And it takes the joy away. I'm gonna swap back, swap back. All right, so you know, it is what it is. For me, as a rank one, it's not pretty much by itself. Uh, I'm still using all these sets with my very relatable units. So it is what it is. Especially as the game gets older, right? We'll have like it multiple teams. A lot of people will have multiple teams, not just two. Uh, the entrance location for agent training will be adjusted and repeated combat stages will be added, making it easier to access training and familiarize yourself with agent specific controls. Is that the VR simulation? I'm assuming this is for the VR simulation, right? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Where would they make it? I feel like the current one is not that bad. Okay, maybe they will, they will lump it up with HIA. I feel like that will make sense law-wise. Because HIA is like the simulation place where you train, right? It would make sense law-wise if they lump it up with HIA. Uh, with HIA. So, yeah. Maybe expanding on the training, it sounds like. Just so, because I will say the training right now for most of the agents is very, very simple. So they, they might be adding more to it. Who knows? Anyone going? I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Uh, because at the end of the day, unless the fucking training teaches me how to fucking negative edge, I think the training is all right. We don't need to go super complex on the training. For C2Z right. yet? I am tomorrow. I am. Um, after reaching a certain internet level, a feature that allows you to freely change the time will be. Oh my god, that is so huge for my dating sim. That is so huge for my dating sim, guys. Now I can raise up all of my waifus. Now I can raise up all of my waifus in a single playthrough. I don't have to fucking keep repeating the stupid ass combat stage reset. Yo, that's actually really, really good. As a, as a dating sim, enjoy. That's really unlocked. good. Unlocked. Making it more convenient to adjust the in game time. Mm hmm. Oh my god! Holy crap, man. Thank fucking lord. If I had to go up to my bed to- <laughs> the, I just do every single fucker in this chat is just spamming devs listen. It's just so funny. <laughs> devs listen. <laughs> oh. You know what's the crazy about all this? Is that this, this, this random devs, it, it, this meme came out from nothing. It legitimately came out from nothing. I wasn't even thinking of making this like, oh my god, I hope this can be big. Like, it legit, it was the most random thumbnail. I made it in like five minutes and I just slapped on like the most generic ass shit. And look where we are today. I feel like that's how memes are made. You know, like, things that you would never expect to blow up, just all of a sudden, not everyone in their fucking mouth is using this fucking death system. It just randomly, it just randomly happens. To it's fucking force legendary. Yeah, that's how memes grow up. Or go run a goddamn mission real quick to pass the time one more goddamn time. I was gonna lose my mind. Yep. Uh, I know you don't need the bed, but sometimes you have to fucking just, you know? It's, it's annoying, but this is yep. nice. This is really nice. Yep. All right. It is. Based on your feedback, we have optimized a background brightness in some commissions. Uh, it's alright. I don't uh, really give them. I don't know anything about that one. Yeah, I don't okay. give them. Can only control Wiser Bell. Instead of other agents, in the special program live stream of later versions, we will announce our current progress and future plans. Oh, 
Oh my, that might be the biggest one yet. That might actually be the biggest one yet. As big as Julian's ass cheeks. Oh my god. Yo, they, they okay, they, we'll, we'll let them go. Yo, this might be the biggest one yet. Holy shit. Okay, but it's a little bit unfortunate. We kind of have to wait a little bit long. Because this is later versions, right? So it's at least 1.3. You know, okay, at least it's coming, at least it's coming. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be looking forward to this. This is really... Okay, I'll let them go, I'll let them go, I'll let them go. Right. Plans, please stay tuned. Okay, they don't have a time for this, but please, I've been begging this for since the beta. That yep. I don't want to fucking walk around as Wise and Bell. Exactly. I want to walk around as Ellen, as Lycan, as one of the characters... The man just says Lycan. <laughs> I'm in church. I pulled for, you know? Like, this is thank you. Alright. I mean, listen, chat. We don't know when this is gonna happen. You're right, right? This could happen in like 2.0 for all we know. But the fact that they're announcing that they're working on it and that they're actually, you know, planning on implementing it, that is it shows that. The devs are listening. <laughs> Enough for me, right? Uh, all right, here too. We will be continuously improving the models for some agents to provide a proxies with an improved visual experience. Okay, they're making Zuyan's ass bigger. Huge. Uh Im imagine if they say this, but this actually means censorship. Ooh, imagine if this means censorship, because what the fuck is improved visual experience? We don't know that, right? We don't know that, so... I will be I'll be a little bit on the fence on this one. I'll be a bit on the fence on this one. All right, I'm down. Um we will continuously optimize the interface interaction mm. experience and combat interface UI. A hundred percent. I I think this is something they need to work on. I do mm. still not I'm not Hey shout out to Genesis, the UI guy. Looks like heck tone was wrong. The UI needs improvement. I will expect Tarzan to have a public apology video by the time he goes live, alright? I was wrong. My apol- my formal apology to Genazet, the UI guy. You truly speaking. Not, I'm still not crazy. I think of all the yeah, guys you're currently up. playing Hi. that are action combat based, I think ZZZ has my least favorite UI for HP, energy, um, buffs. And, like, oh, I definitely don't like it still. So. Nuclear drama for oh, Master turning his back on Tectone. Now there's two UI guys. Now there's two UI guys. Absolutely insane. Watch Tectone. How will Tectone get out from this predicament where he's about to get ratioed by the Forbits and the. Uh, what the fuck the Genesis call his chat? The Epic Seveners, the UI or sorry. So we're, stay tuned to find out. That they are saying that they're gonna continue to work on it, so that's good. Um, the buff is just part of our optim optimization plans. Uh, we will continue mm. to pay attention to your gaming experience and further refine the game. We will be uh, keep adding more fun and challenging combat elements and adjusting the balance of different game modes. Holy shit. Listen, I've seen the word challenging used in this one tweet more than Genshin has used in four years. I, I listen this is all i need all right that's all i need okay holy huge improvements actual chat what a bit for types devs listen i didn't pre-watch i did not pre-watch let's find out actually amazing devs and Ah, uh, you know, at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, you know, at the absolute end of the day, I am your streamer, guys. All right, I'm your streamer.
All right. These two are probably my two biggest. I feel like for me, the biggest is probably okay. If I have to pick one, it's probably number three. I I am very very interested in this because I genuinely like Zen Zone Zero, and you know as a rank one free to play player myself, I do like a little bit of a challenge. Even though I'm fucking bashing my head against the wall, being under level and all that kind of stuff not using easy or whatever it does give me a very joyous occasion when i finally beat that stage so yeah i think number, if i have to pick one and only one like there can only be one tier right? I'll, I'll pick number three number three is good. a close second is honestly the the changing models <laughs> Stand back. like i can change I'm it to another model oh potential. yo god there's a five dollars didn't pre-watch but there is a comment on his video already him yeah i commented before watching it the All right, uh, with that, we have come to the end of today's content. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Did the devs listen even harder than last time? Oh my god, absolutely diabolical listening skills, right? Uh, leave it down in the comments below or join the Discord, Discord.gg for the Pokemon where we have a very, very, very active community talking about Zen Zero on daily channel channel stream. Please don't forget to watch the video again. You just don't forget to watch the video again. Discord. So, that's all for today. All the best for your Julian Pools. And see you guys next time.